Hi everyone, Monique here and today we're going to talk about teaching your toddlers. So I think it was last week when I shared on the website the materials that we've been um, using in our homeschool. So I make everything that we use for my preschooler and for my grade two and my grade three girls. Um, and I just received a couple of inquiries basically asking me if the materials for my three year older for a preschooler are appropriate to use for a toddler, um, for toddlers or for children who are a little bit younger. And my answer was a little bit lengthy in a sense that I always say this in the videos that our families are unique, our children are unique, so we have our interests, our own skills, and our own family goals. And while I think there are activities or materials that are really more appropriate for toddlers, really more appropriate for um, five-year-olds, I think most of the materials um, can be used for multi-age children. It really depends on what you want to do in that activity or what you what your goals are and also how you present it and the language that you use with the children while you're working with these materials. So the key with working with toddlers or with very young children is, even with preschoolers I think, is to really have a lot of hands-on um, activities. So things that they can manipulate, concrete things that they're able to touch, that they're able to move around, they're able to smell, they're able to see, they're able to feel. So basically using all of their senses. Um, and with paper and pen exercises that's really um, not what they're getting because it's just a flat piece of paper it's just their pencil that they're using but um, that can still be something that you can use um, and then just add a lot of other materials to that exercise so for example these are these are um, Principles that are going to be on the Apple study that I'm going to post this weekend. But it's basically um, the goal for this is to have the children sort the apples by color, or sort things by color. So as you can see, I drew these bushel baskets, put in the color, and I even put in I have blank red apples. Um, and that's hoping that this will encourage them to count. And now I know toddlers, most toddlers are probably not verbal, probably not counting. So you don't have to use these things, but you can still actually use these um sheets of paper um, for encouraging them to sort. What I did with Rafa is first use um, actual materials. So you could use real apples, you could use palms, you can use wool, felt, balls. Um, and I have these really amazing um, toys. You don't have to have them, but I really, really like them. They're called Attribute Apples. I think that's what they're called. Oh, yes attribute apples and I really like them because they're of different colors different sizes and some of them even have a little um, caterpillar which is so cute but it really um, encourages sorting but if you don't have it not to worry you can use whatever you have in your house as I said you could have pom-poms you could have pipe cleaners you could have buttons and um, we're doing an apple study this week we have a lot of apples because we went apple picking now with toddlers and younger children um, you can use the sheet, as I said, and um, I will show you pictures of how we did that with Raphael or a video. I'm not sure if it took one, but you can also just use um, whatever containers you have at home. And what you do is you set it up in such a way that it invites your child to use the materials and to move them around as your child pleases. Um, you can have a sorting tray as well if you don't have one. Um, I just bought this at the dollar store. I'm sure you could find it in the department store. Um, and it's like a drawer organizer for the kitchen where you put like the spoon, fork, knives, um, or even maybe for pens and paper and pencils. Not paper, pen and pencils. Um, so I just got this from the dollar store. Like I think it was just about $3 or so. Um, and you can use this. But again, if you don't have a sorting tray or have this, whatever containers you have at home will work. Um, so if you are going to present them with three colors um, and then maybe present them with three bowls and the key there is to not direct your child as to what you would like them to do. Invite them into the play by just setting it up very nicely. Um, think about the aesthetics and um, you will probably find like in my Instagram posts, um, In I usually set things up in a way I think that it's pleasing to the eyes and it's really not just because I want it to look nice on Instagram. It's really how 
you set things up, especially for younger children, because the aesthetics, because something beautiful draws them in and really interests them into um, getting into the activity and really being hands on with it. So set it up, have a, a space in your house where you could set up um, these containers, you know, apples or whatever else that you have at home, and then invite your child to um, come play with them. You could say, oh, look, I have a little setup for you. Would you like to come and play with it? Or would you like to come and play with me? Now, as much as possible, try not to direct the learning. So just allow your toddler to explore the materials, to feel it, to, to stare at them, to rub their hands across the skin of the apple, to put them in different containers. And you will see that you will learn so much um, about your child. You know, if your child is noticing the colors, if your child is also um, able to um, you know sort them so they'll probably put them in different containers and you'll see oh you'll realize that oh my child is at that level already that my child can see the different colors so he's able to put them in different containers and that's often what children are drawn to they are drawn to sorting because their minds are trying to make sense of the information that's coming in just like us adults when we hear of something we organize it in our brains we either write it in our notebooks we you know make little tables and whatnot or columns in our planners same with the children but this is something that they can actually see they can't write yet they can't really organize um you know hold a lot of information in their brain at the moment but if you give them something concrete to use for sorting, then they're able to organize whatever information um, they're taking in for the, from the environment. Another key thing to remember with toddlers is that when you're working with them, language is a big, big thing, especially if they're not verbal. Well, even if they're verbal, they're developing their language skills. So they really need to hear you um, verbalize things for them, add vocabulary to their learning. So while they're playing with the apples, you can say, hmm, I see you picked up a red apple. That's a red apple. Or you could say, oh, oh, I see. I see you're putting the small apples together. Those are small green apples. And another thing to keep in mind is that it's really um, helpful also if you animate your voice. So let your voice reflect the words that you're saying. If it's big, if it's huge, if it's massive, it's gigantic. Or if it's small, you have a small apple, you have a tiny apple. And it's not to say that you're using baby talk, but giving that um, animation in your voice allows your child also to picture really what it is that they're holding and connecting it to the word that you're using to describe it. Oh, I see it smooth the skin is so smooth um, and really just animating the voice really drives home the meaning of 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 the words that you're you're saying so as I said if you have um, sheets such as these they do not go to waste with toddlers um, you can always start with these containers but if you have just these and don't have time to find containers and and whatnot or have a sorting tray in hand you can always use um, preschool sheets such as this and I will show you how you can start from a very basic level and how you can level up we call it scaffolding I'm a huge fan of Vygotsky um, and scaffolding is really one of the terms that I've that has stuck to me since I was in university and when you think about scaffolding when you see a construction site why do they have scaffoldings it's because the painters or the builders have to be able to reach um, the upper levels of the building or of the house that they're building so it's the same concept when you scaffold you are fr coming from one level and you're trying to um, encourage the child to go up to another level or to a different or to try a different skill so again with the sheets, so you can actually use these for sorting. So you could lay it out on the floor. You could again have your toy apples or your actual apples or your palms and just have your child put them in on top of the correct sheet and you're already encouraging your child to sort. Now if you want to go up another level, you could or just touch on a different skill. 
um, you can provide your child with tongs or with little or with a spoon and have your child use a spoon or the tong to actually move the apple from the floor from the table to on top of the sheet so that's basically just using the tong to bring the apple on top of the sheet or on the container in the container if you're using it um, but you can again scaffold the learning and go up a little bit higher and maybe even ask them to count the apples. So you could say, okay, if you, your child already has green apples or green palms or green balls or toys, whatever you have on top of this sheet, then ask your child, oh, how about let's count your, your green things. Let's see how many you have in your green bushel basket. And again, if you say bushel basket, then that's adding to their vocabulary. So even if they're not really verbal yet, but by hearing you talk about this as a bushel basket, then you're adding to their learning, you're quote unquote teaching them because you're adding to their vocabulary. So if they already have certain items on top of the sheet or in a container, you can say, let's try counting counting them all right so that's a level higher um, I've said this in one of my videos before I think so counting is different from quantifying if you ask them to count they can just say oh I have let's say you, you can ask your child to count and then your child can say one two three that's counting but if for example you say how many apples do you have and he says one two three how many apples and he'll say two so your child is not able to quantify yet. So that again is a, a scaffolding that's again a higher skill. So depending on your child's skill level, depending on what your goal is. For toddlers, for example, you just want them to count. You want them to just practice counting then you can say let's count the apples if your toddler can't count then you count you can even hold your toddler's hand and ask your toddler to touch each apple so that your toddler knows that this is a one-to-one -one correspondence one corresponds to this apple two corresponds to this second apple and three corresponds to this third apple now level up again if your child is able to quantify but cannot write yet then have like number cards on hand and have your child choose for example how many apples do i have and your child counts one two three i have three apples and you can give the sheet again and have like a number card in hand and say which one is number 10 and then your child will just put it on top of the line if your child's not able to write but again if your child is able to write then that's another level higher and you can still use the sheet so it's the same material it's just with how you present it it's just with what the instructions that you give or just how you do the activity together so if your child is able to write or not able to write yet but can follow lines then you can easily just put dotted lines to put let's say the number 10 and your child can trace it and then if your child is again a level higher maybe a five-year-old then your child can probably already write the number 10 on her own or on his own. That's basically it. You, it, the same materials, it's just with the language that you use, it's just with how you present the same material, but thinking of your goal, if this is your goal, then this is how you present it. If it's really just them sorting colors, then just ask them to put the same color as the bushel basket. If your child is just starting out discriminating color, then you use your words again to ha help them understand red this is a red apple you see red it's the same it's the same color so all the red apples go in this bushel basket so that's it for today that's toddler learning so the things to keep in mind are one um it's a lot of hands-on learning so use a lot of concrete materials you don't have to buy toys um just use whatever you have at home use real fruit or vegetable whatever containers that you have in the kitchen you can use um and the second thing to remember is that you can use your voice always use language so always add the language especially because your toddlers are usually not verbal yet so the language comes from you talk about what they're doing sports cast that's another term i think i've said it in another video but basically sports cast talk about narrate it's like you're a narrator and you're you're looking at the story unfold in front of you and you can narrate it oh you're picking up the red apple oh i see you're putting the big apples together and which goes to my third point is always to remember to animate your voice so use your voice to attach meaning to the words if they're big, if they're smooth, if they're if they're if they're tiny, if it's rough, then 
it will add color to um, your child's understanding of the words and it's easier for them too to really have a better idea of what the word means so thanks again for joining me today please consider liking sharing and subscribing to Monique's home sharing this video so that other people can learn about teaching their toddlers too and also follow me on Instagram at Monique's home for a lot more ideas um, in teaching your children at home for activities you could do at home and also freebies at www.moniqueshome.com I will see you next time remember to make every day your own version of extraordinary because it is your unique home and your unique family I can hear my kid okay bye Thank you.